One thing that I always say, that I've said time and time again, is that women cheat in the margins. They cheat during times you wouldn't expect them to, and they cheat during circumstances where they could explain they could explain themselves out of it. In other words, plausible deniability. Like, it's not obvious that she's cheating, but she could have been doing something else. That's what I call the margins. And, and guys, a lot of these girls, they're fucking pros at it. All right. Uh, in episode 57, I talked about four techniques that women use to set up future cheating. And, and unless you know that they're coming, listen, you wouldn't be able to tell what she's doing. Now, sure, guys, if she said she's working late or if she goes out with her friends on a Friday night and doesn't come back till the next morning, listen, you, listen, you know, she's up under somebody getting banged out like you don't have to you don't have to you don't have to be a red pill aware male to know that. But in 2017, guys, women are professional cheaters. And these days they do it in the margins. Let's the 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 lunch date situation. The the lunch situation with Steve at the office. That's not a good example because most men, red pill or blue pill, would definitely suspect that something was going on. Where females really get diabolical is when they do things like run to the store for forty five minutes, stop by Eric's house, get fucked for him, get fucked by him for fifteen minutes, shop shop at the store for fifteen, then come back home. I see that shit happening all the time, and guess what, guys? I've been both dudes in that situation. I've been the dude fucking her on the way to the store, and I've been the dude getting cheated on when she was on her way to the store. So I know this happens because I've been on both sides of that equation. They also like doing things like taking pictures in places. They tell their men that they'll be at at a specific day and time uh, before they actually get there. The 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 little snippet I I uh, you guys heard in my introduction, something is vibrating on my on my desk. Um, in in the introduction, um, that was what was in the introduction. Then what they'll do is they'll post it on social media for him to see while at her side dude's house getting fucked in the ass, and he's none the wiser. And I talked about that specifically in episode eighty three. Other strategies women like to use is texting apps um, to keep in touch with dudes they're fucking on the side. So rather than texting from their phones where there's no record of it, she uses these texting apps that aren't tracked by her provider. All she has to do if he gets suspicious is delete the app. Guys, guys, listen, there are there are a shitload of other ways that women use technologies to create the margins to cheat on men. But you guys get the idea. Listen, if listen, do a Google search, clever ways women cheat, and you will be shocked at what you see, even for today. I shit you not. The only way to discourage this behavior, put a keylogger on her phone. This way, whatever she types on her phone, you'll see. And make sure she knows you've put it on her phone. If she won't let you, drop her. A woman who will not allow you to access her a woman who will not allow you access to her phone is a woman who doesn't really want to be with you and a woman who wants to cheat but not get caught. That's why she doesn't want you near her phone. Ladies, if you want to be with a man, Okay, and and you want him to trust you and not suspect that you're fucking around, you're going to have to give up all autonomy. All right. You're, you're going to give up your privacy. If you're unwilling to do that, then a man of value is going to be unwilling to commit to you guys long term. And th this is funny, man. Like a lot of girls, a lot of girls out there are with dudes that they know they're lucky to be with. But years down the line, when they're wondering why he hasn't popped the question or why he hasn't asked her to move in or take the relationship to another level. She's always confused, but the main reason is, the main reason is he doesn't trust her. He sees her on her phone all the time. He sees her leaving the room to make phone calls. He sees her, he sees her tilt her phone so he can't see it when she's texting, when she's texting or when she gets a text. Men like this, ladies, don't commit to women who won't allow themselves to monitor, to, to, to get their activities monitored on their phone. No. He will never trust you, especially if he is red pill aware, nor should he be. But if you give him access to your phone, you can at least show him that you're willing to be kept in line. Now, if she does let you have access to her to her phone, if she does let you put a key logger on her phone, uh, once again, you have shown her that you don't trust her, but she's staying with you. Again, this proves that you don't have to trust your woman within the context of a sexual relationship with her. And listen... And I'll say this definitively, any woman who doesn't give you complete access to her phone, her computer, her tablet, and all of her devices is a woman who isn't ready for your long-term commitment. Bottom line.